Hello guys, if you are following my videos of LLM installation, you might know that LLM Studio is my go-to tool for the installation and playing around with these models for initial testing. Later, of course, you can embed them in your API or in your LLM pipelines. But for the starters, tools like LLM Studio ensure that you are aware what sort of performance these LLMs are going to offer. So LM Studio is one of the best tools out there at the moment because this is changing every day. Quite recently, in fact yesterday, few hours ago, LM Studio has announced another feature where you can run multiple models at the same time. You can not only run multiple models at the same time, but you can also load and prompt them simultaneously. You can also use the API to build networks, pipelines of LLMs then that can talk with each other and you can also use the new json mode to constrain each model's output format for the purpose of this video the focus will be on to see how you can run multiple models on the lm studio and this is not just a multiple model you can even run the multiple instances of the same models so let's get started if you already have lm studio installed make sure to update it if you don't have it installed go to lm studio's website which is lmstudio.ai and i will also drop the link in video's description from there just click on uh, the lm studio installer of your operating system for mac for windows and for linux i'm running it on locally on my windows system so i already have installed it and this is my lm studio as you can see here now this is the home page of lm studio and if you have already uh, it running then i would highly suggest that you click on this top left check for updates and then check for any updates if you have it i already have done it so i am on the latest version which is 2.17 okay now in order to get started on the left hand side click on this icon playground and then click on go this is for your multi-model multi multi-model multi session now from here you can select your models i have two models selected uh, already downloaded so i have just uh, clicked on grok one and then you can see it is giving us uh, all the information and this is uh, models name with the repo this is a preset and you can go with uh, default or you can select any of it i'm just going to select the default but you can like there are a lot of uh, there if you want if you want to do the chat you want to do the pistol instructor button i'll just go with the default and uh, load permissions are true so i'm just keeping it and then i'm doing the full gpu offload which is 4.78 gpu let's load the model you can see that model is being loaded i have one gpu of 16 gb of vram i'm hoping that it will work because of course if you don't have that much gpu or vram and or memory it is going to fail so let's see if i am able to do it and you can see on the top right right now out of that 15 16 gb of vram i am using just under one, uh, one gig i think this would require under 5 gig or something like that let's see Let's wait for it to load. It will take too long. There you go. So you can see it is using just under 5 gig of VRAM at the moment. Let's select second model. And maybe I'll just go with this is another Navarasa model which I used few days ago it's a quite a small model so let's see if it is able to do it or not it is loading wait and you can see that my both models are now loaded here and in order to send the prompt you can simply um, send the prompt in this box and then press enter so I'm going to ask it a question which one came first egg or chicken as you can see let me see if I'm able to 
clear the screen okay this is better uh okay so, and it is saying send them prompt to model one by one which is recommended because it doesn't overload it that is also cool let me see if i make it bit bigger here okay, that is better so let's press enter now so this is the first model by grok one and then this is the second model so if you want to see the performance of one prompt on multiple models you can do with the help of uh, this simple multimodal session on lm studio now let's ask it another prompt but also enable the json mode so simply click on json mode here on the left hand side box and then let me remove this and let me ask a question about a navier stokes equation which actually deals with the flow of gases and liquid so i'm asking it to explain this text version of the navier stokes equation to a five-year-old and then i have given it an equation let's see there you go you can see that now the output is coming into the json format which is quite good for the apis but because the word is a very quantized version so it hasn't given me uh, that but the first one which is a mistral 7p quantized fine tune it has given me it that is cool and then you can also go with your own json schema if you have any which is compatible to your apis let's keep it to done and you can see that we are throttling the amount of gpus and cpus in order to make sure we are not really uh, overboarding or overloading our system uh, as far as use of api is concerned you would need to start the server from here and then it will start the lm studio server on port 1234 on your local server and then you can make api calls to these models easily and even do those multimodal sessions i have done few videos and as how to start the server and use it so please search the channel in order to check it out and if you think about it there could be a lot of use cases of running multiple models especially if you are running them through api because you can then call them with each other with api for example the first model will do some pre-work of some task the second model will actually do the task and the third model will do the quality check of that task so all of these models can work in tandem maybe one model would write text the other model would write code and then they can just generate the code plus documentation why is the limit here now if you want to go back just click on this top arrow here but it will unload the model and continue so you can go back to so stay there let me clear it maybe let's check if they are aware of each other so i'll just ask you are all individuals just respond differently so they are telling us that they are not programmed to be an individual and they are just an ai so pretty good update i should say and there could be a lot of use cases of this lm studio and as you can see lm studio is really improving week by week so very happy to see this tool evolving because this is one of the good tool i use almost on daily basis let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching